These are my top five things you need to pack in your luggage if you're on a tight budget and you don't want to waste money on food. Hello everyone, I am Mary Jane. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more videos about cheap traveling. And follow me on Instagram if you want to keep track of my trips. We eat on average three meals a day. When we travel, it's nice to go to some local restaurants and to try some genuine street food. This doesn't mean that you need to do it every day, three times a day though. Especially if you are on a low budget, you may want to keep that as an occasional treat during your trip rather than an everyday habit. So these are the top five things I bring in my trips to be smart about the money I use to nourish myself. First, a solid reusable bottle. Of course, we had to start from the bottle. Drinkable water is our primary need. And luckily, in half of the world, you can find it for free in any kitchen, bathroom, or any outdoor fountain. I tend to travel in that part of the world. So if you're going to Africa, to Asia, or South America, make sure to gather enough information about the water you can drink. There are several options when it comes to choose a reusable bottle. I'm currently using this 40 deciliters metal one, because I found it the most appropriate for traveling, but you can use hard plastic ones or glass bottles as well and you can fill them up with water or with any other beverage if you're traveling during the winter in the cold country or during the summer in a hot one you could also choose to bring a thermal bottle this way you're going to be able to have a cup of hot tea hot coffee or hot chocolate to warm you up for free at any time of the day or having a super refreshing water or lemonade during the summer second a bag of nuts I've never been a huge fan of nuts, but I finally realized what a great and convenient source of nourishment they are. Nutritionally speaking, they have a very high energetic value and they are packed with healthy fats and proteins. This means that we need a very little volume to get tons of energy and nutrients. As you can easily understand, this is already a very important feature for us cheap travelers, since we need our luggage to be as small and as light as possible. So they are perfect to take with you in any kind of trip, because they won't take so much space and they are not so heavy as well. As if it wasn't enough, nuts contain a very low amount of water, which allows them to have an extremely long shelf life. So we can easily pack them and don't mind if the temperatures go very high or very low. And we don't have to worry to finish them in a few days, because they last us weeks or months. You can also add some dried fruits to your mix, like apricots, plums, raisins, apples and so on, to give it some sweetness and some color as well. Third, a cutlery set. Having a set of travel cutlery can be really useful. Sure, you can prepare several kinds of meal without the need of any tool, but having a fork or a spreader knife can really expand the choices and make your life easier if you don't have a kitchen. They can be useful if you have some leftover pasta from the day before, if you want to have a yogurt or a pudding, if you want to put together some crackers with a spread, if you want to finish that rice and veggies that you prepared yesterday for dinner, or if you want to eat some soup. They also really come in handy if you go to the grocery store and you want to buy some ready-to-eat kind of food to eat on the go. I'm talking about those ready-to-eat salads or the food you can purchase at the daily section of the grocery store, or the yogurt or some custard kind of dessert. Fourth, a bag of rice. Sometimes during your trip, it happens to have a suddenly a kitchen available. To me personally, when it happens, it lasts one or two nights, so I can't go and buy loads of food to prepare. Also, sometimes it happens to arrive to these places in the evening, hostels for example, when you are very tired and you don't want to go out again and look for a grocery store and buy all the food. What I learned trip after trip is to keep a bag of uncooked rice in my backpack or in my suitcase. This way, if it happens that I'm able to cook, at least I already have a base for a meal. All I need to do is to find some veggies to cook and put together, chop some of my nuts to give some crunchiness and some extra flavor to my dish, and have some fruit or chocolate for dessert. And you can find all these items either in your backpack, I explained this here, or at any fruit and veggies vendor at the corner of a street, who sometimes also sell fresh eggs. Fifth, a lunchbox. 
Bringing a reusable food container is a real clever idea if you have a kitchen at your disposal. This way it will be super easy to just cook some extra food for dinner and then pack the leftovers for the next day's lunch. It's really that simple. Just make sure to have a leak-proof one. Even if it's more expensive or heavier, it's going to be worth it. If you found these tips useful, please hit the thumbs up and like this video. I make videos on cheap travels every week. I tend to travel in the Western countries, so you're not going to receive any cheap travel tip from me that includes choosing a cheap country as a destination. If you subscribe to my channel, I will teach you and show you how to travel to very expensive parts of the world and still have a very low budget. Let me know in the comments if you are already using some of these tips. I look forward to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Bye.